Charge on! Hey, Ichiban. What a coincidence. Oh, no. I was looking for you. I wanted to apologize for yesterday. Oh? Apologize for what? I wasn't thinking about how you felt at all, and I ended up saying a whole bunch of terrible things. So, yeah, I want to apologize. Was what you said that terrible? I talked to Adachi-san and Namba about it afterwards, and things became pretty clear. First off, I made a bunch of weird assumptions saying stuff like, for a woman, and junk. And even though I know you take the club really seriously, I spouted off about how you could quit your job, you know, if we got married. Oh, and also, I said I'd help out with the chores as if you'd automatically be the one doing all that. There's more. I, I was talking about having a kid, like that was a given too. And then, on top of that, I said we should visit the boss's grave and put him in ease. Th that wasn't a lie, but... I didn't mean to make it sound like I only want to get married for Arakawa-san's sake. Uh... I know I panicked, but it wasn't cool that I disregarded your feelings like that. Really. I'm so sorry, Satchana! That's it? You came all this way just to say that? <laughs> You're silly. I wasn't worried about that one bit. Huh? But I... I mean, sure, maybe those weren't the most tactful things to say, but no biggie. Work at a cabaret club long as I have and you hear a whole lot worse. Well, then why did you... Well, it's just that we first met in kind of a weird way, you know? We're like partners in crime, you and me. Just think about how much we've been through. I guess at some point it started to feel like having you around's a given. <sighs> and, well, I think a little romance might get in the way of everything. In that sense, I think it'd be better if we went back to being friends. Don't worry, though. I'm with you to the very end. Such an... That's all there is to it. So don't beat yourself up, okay? Like I said before, let's just keep at it. See ya. Time to make some moves! Hey, good morning. Oh, Kasuga-kun. Morning. Let's give it all we got today, yeah? <laughs> sure. Uh, listen, uh, can I talk to you for a second? Huh? Oh! Is this about organizing the warehouse? Don't worry, I'm on it. Uh, no, you, you see, uh, there's something you should know. Why don't we grab a meeting room? Huh? O okay, sure. Huh? My contract's been terminated? I know, uh, crazy timing. Uh, remember how it was supposed to renew end of next month? Well... I thought about trying to get you a raise, but just yesterday, City Hall went and denied the renewal. Uh, uh, w was there a problem with my quality of work? No, 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 no. Kasuga-kun, you've done an outstanding job. But apparently the city's budget is getting pretty tight. 
it seems they've no choice but to start cutting back on contractors. Right. I see. Understood. Well, uh, let me just say, uh, thank you for putting up with me. I'm guessing I'm done after this month. Well, for what it's worth, I'll be sure to finish strong. Uh, no. Uh, we'd actually like it if, uh, if today could be your last day. You want me to use my PTO? I mean, it's true I never took any, but I don't think I have that much stored up. Do I? Oh, well, you won't have to worry about that. Uh, they made an exception, and will mark the rest as PTO as well. <laughs> they hardly ever do something like this. Oh, jeez, I don't deserve that. You don't have to give me any special treatment. I, I can just work until... I'm really sorry. This is just what the higher-ups have decided. Just know I'm grateful to you, all right? Okay. Well, with that, thank you for everything you've done for me. No, 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 no. Uh, thank you. Excuse me. So Thank you. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Thank you. Come on, get a grip. Everything's right back to how it used to be. Okay.
Hey, that's him, right? Yeah, that's him. No doubt about it. Well, it's about damn time. Welcome home, Kasuga-san. Huh? Who the hell are you? We just want to do a little interview, that's all. You're basically the talk of the town. And why is that? You take bribes from former Yakuza, then ship them off to do shady jobs all over town. So, what say you fill us in? What is this shit? Come on, the secret's out. Hello Works, a hookup for the Yakuza. The guys who broke up the Omi and Tojo have been off living the good life, right? <laughs> You're no exception. What? Who told you that? You can't just believe everything you hear, you know? <laughs> All right, simmer down. <laughs> now, be real. Just how much are you making? Nobody wants a bunch of former Yakuza wandering around. Doesn't that weigh on your conscience at all? Back off! <laughs> oh! 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 Did you see that? Oh, he's out of control. The real Ichiban Kasuga's on the loose! Well, they may call him the hero of Yokohama, but deep down he's just another Yakuza! The Yakuza feeding off other Yakuza, no less! Oh, honor and duty, my freshly bruised ass! Okay, cut. I <laughs> oh, wasn't smart of you to get rough on camera like that, Kasuga-san. Well, oh, you're in big trouble if this ever goes online. Toss a million my way, however, and it's yours. Have it ready by tomorrow. You think I'm gonna give in to this crap? You think anybody's gonna buy your stupid act? Oh, <laughs> a little editing goes a long way. Wait and see. Couple of clicks here and there, and everyone will think you threw a regular haymaker. Yeah, well, best of luck, pal. You sure? I mean, you're already going viral as it is. Ask yourself, do you really want to throw oil on that fire? Viral? Do I look like I'm sick to you? Huh? <laughs> oh, come on. Have you not seen how people are talking about you online? Can't say I have. Not a big web guy. Oh, seriously? Ugh, what a pain. Hey, show him the video. What's up, people? Tatara Channel coming at ya. Let's get to it. Ladies and gents, our perp of the day. <laughs> This man here is Ichiban Kasuga, a former gangster who was heavily involved in the dissolution of two major Yakuza factions four years ago. On top of that, some people even call him the hero of Yokohama. This exclusive footage was secretly recorded in Yokohama at a real hello work. Here we see none other than Ichiban Kasuga brazenly working the front desk. Meanwhile, the man sitting across from him is yet another former Yakuza. The hell is this? Sasaki? This was like a misunderstanding! Ichiban Kazuga seems to be whispering orders to his ex Yakuza cohort. Then, having received his instructions from Kazuga, the ex Yakuza leaves Hello Work. Only to make a beeline for. a mini mart, a drugstore, and a fancy boutique! We catch him stealing things right off the shelves, even going so far as to use a fake hand! Hey, hold up! That ain't right! Finally, it looks like Kasuga then buys the items from his personal thief at a deep discount. According to our extensive research, in just this day, a whopping 2 million yen's worth of product was stolen. Kasuga bought the lot for an unheard of 20 grand! In other words, he's having down and out ex Yakuza steal for him, then making a tidy profit reselling the stolen goods! This is the secret. No, the true face of the hero of Yokohama! Hey, what the hell? <clears throat> Which one of you made this? <laughs> like she said, it's the Tatara channel. She's pretty much a god, and with five million subscribers at that. I mean, if anything, you should be proud you made it on her show, Kasuga-san. My ass, I'm proud. This whole thing's bogus. Bogus? <laughs> Dude. They got the whole thing on video. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I see now. It all makes sense. That's gotta be why I got let go today. It's just got to! Anyway, look. We got you on video, so you gonna buy it off us or not? Like hell I am! I haven't done a damn thing wrong, you bastards! <laughs> uh, what a shame. Guess we got no choice. How about we have this guy take a little nap, then move on to the next target? <laughs> next target? Who's that? All right, you're up, Mr. Bodyguard. So, you want me to beat this guy down? Yep. Just enough to gonk him out. Oh, uh, <laughs> try not to put this one in the hospital, okay? <laughs> Who's this dude? I met him online. I have him lend a hand whenever we're doing a risky shoot. Wait, you don't know? Top Street Fighter online sensation Asakura channel? Ring any bells? <laughs> Man, he's trending like crazy right now. Oh, hey, Asachi, here's an idea. Why don't I record you knocking him flat like a pancake, eh? <laughs> I'll feature you on my channel as a guest, huh? What do you say? Sure, whatever. As long as I get to fight. Hell yeah! Oh, we are jumping straight to the front page with this one! <laughs> All right, let's get footage, then go hit up that Sasaki creep. Wait, Sasaki? Why are you bringing him into this? Why do you care? He's just a chump from the Hiwatashi clan. And I'm afraid he's next on the chopping block. <laughs> We're gonna give him a little interview as well. <gasps> How does it feel to have quit the Yakuza and have it blasted all over the internet? You asshole. Couple that footage with this fight, and we're talking at least oh, five million views easy. Knock it off! <laughs> he's giving everything he's got to rebuild his life right now. You're not gonna get in the way of that. Let's do it! Yeah! Break yourself! Open one! to the next level. Think I'm getting stronger. <laughs> Gotta say, you're pretty tough. <sighs> Thanks. You can relax. You proved you're the real deal. Let's go again soon, yeah? The next time, we do this legit. Now smile for the cameras. That guy means business. As always, the Tara Channel is on the case. Ready to research, reveal, and rebuke the crimes running rampant around the world. The Tara Channel? <laughs> Adachi-san! Hey, I was just about to call you. You'll never guess. I'm sorry, Kasuga. He pains me to say, but I have to close up shop. Huh? Yeah, Namba's coming over to my place. Apparently, he suddenly got fired, too.
What the hell? Seriously, what's going on? They gave me the same speech as you, Kostka. I got into work, then immediately got called in by my boss who said I didn't have to come in anymore. I got a call from the bank. They told me I couldn't take out another loan and there was nothing I could do to change that. When I asked why, they said their assessment standards are a company secret. And I'm barely hanging in there as it is. If my financing gets cut off, I'll have no choice but to throw in the towel. Damn. All three of us either lost our jobs or got abandoned by the bank. Yeah, not to mention those jerks who started picking on Kostka. It can't be a coincidence. Right. Now, as to what caused all this... Just who the heck is she? A content creator. Supposedly she specializes in call-out videos. Call-out videos? Well, thanks to smartphones, these days anyone has a chance to be a whistleblower. Next thing you know, the video's racking up views on a channel just like this. One day they might show a video from a woman trying to get back at an abusive celebrity. The next, you might see a tip toward political corruption, usually from some kind of secretary. Okay, so it's kind of like a tabloid? That's a simple way to put it, yeah. Thing is, anonymity is super prevalent on the internet, so not many stories are true. It typically falls to the channel's user to sort through the trash. The more well-researched and credible the stories are, the more popular the channel. Our so-called Tatara channel is apparently at the top of the heap when it comes to credibility. Guess she even helped solve a real-life crime, and all because of a video. As you can imagine, the politicians and police follow her pretty closely. And the video of me, what about that? That was a total load! Well, that I'm not so sure about. Maybe there's a tip so incredibly well-crafted, even Tatara couldn't see through it. I wonder who gave her the tip in the first place. Uh, she never reveals the identity of her sources. That's why she always gets the big scoops. So... When exactly did the video get put online? Three days ago. Since then, it's hit three million views. And now that it's on the Tatar channel, you can bet the world believes every bit of it. Do we have any way to get in touch with her? Sure. You can always try and DM her. I already did, though. No response so far. But even if she did take the video down, what's done is done. Once something gets uploaded, copies of it start spreading like wildfire. And what makes this whole mess even sadder is, those who eat this stuff up don't even really care about the truth. They don't? Then what the hell's the point? Really, most people just want a target. A punching bag for their own problems. You can't go around trashing innocent people, but if it's someone who's proven to be evil, well, that's a different story. So it's bullying. Rebranded for the modern era. Well, on the other hand, this stuff has actually served as a bit of a crime deterrent. We uploaded Rio Aoki's confession four years ago, remember? The cultural climate's been changing ever since. And now it's our turn on the chopping block, is that it? Talk about irony. Oh, I'm sorry, Adachi-san. Namba, this is my fault. Huh? If I hadn't been so naive, none of this would have happened. Hey. You two turned your lives around and I went and ruined everything. I'm so sorry. Yeah, truth be told, I had a feeling you'd take it that way. Why would this ever be your fault? You dumbass. The problem's obviously whoever spread the lies. And what's more, don't underestimate us. We've ridden out rougher storms than this one. I'll say. Compared to sleeping outside in the snow back when I was a bum, this is a regular slice of heaven. Come what may, I'll crawl my way out of hell as many times as it takes. Pretty sure you'd do the same, right? Guys!
Thank you. But just know, I won't be able to help you get ex Yakuza back on their feet anymore. Yeah, not like you could, seeing as you lost both your source of jobs and the means to hand them out. I feel like a joke. Especially after all that talk about carrying out the boss's legacy. Well, look, right now, just do your best. Besides, it's fair to say more Yakuza are gonna come looking for help. You'll have to explain all that's happened. Yeah, you're right. Um, excuse me. Are you Kasuga-san? You know, Ichiban Kasuga, the hero of Yokohama? <sighs> That's me. Oh, thank goodness. I heard you got work, that maybe you might have a job for me? Uh, yeah, about that. As you can see, I too used to be in the Yakuza. I've got a wife and two kids. The older one starts elementary school next year. They've gone through hell because of me. But I at least want to provide a good life for my family. The, uh, word on the street is that even a guy like me could find some honest work and turn things around. Please, is there anything available? I'm sorry. Hmm? You see, I actually just lost my job. As such, I can't do a whole lot for you. Huh? I'm just here to break the news, tell everyone what happened. Just know I'm really sorry. You're serious? Man, no matter where I go, it's the same thing. I was planning to end it all, but that changed when I heard about you. I'm really at the end of my rope. <sighs> now, now you're out too? You're in the same boat as me? Is this some kind of sick joke? Damn it, you gave me hope, you know that? You can't just toy around with people's emotions like this. Come on! I'm sorry. Please, I, I'm so sorry. Damn it! <sighs> Excuse me. Oh, uh, Kasuga-san. Hey, good to see you. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to cause a scene. Uh, that that's okay. Do you, um, think I can ask you a favor? Provided it's not too much trouble, could you put up a sign saying I'm not here anymore? You see, there's a good chance more people will show up looking for me. Y you mean more Yakuza? Former Yakuza, yes. Would you do that for me? Otherwise, I'm worried they'll just cause trouble for you. Uh, oh, uh, okay. I, I certainly don't want those guys waltzing in here and harassing people. I really appreciate it. Uh, furthermore, uh, don't think that hanging around will make us change our decision. Uh, also, were you fighting out here? I won't have anything like that on the premises. Not one bit. I'm sorry. I'll leave right away. Guess I'll go see Sasaki. He should know what's been going on. Sugasan. Sorry to bother you all of a sudden. There's something I... I heard from Adachi-san. I'm getting let go at the end of the month. I'm sorry. It's my fault for not having my act together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's alright. 
Actually, this whole thing's helped me come to terms with it. I put all that effort into having a change of heart to rebuild my life, and then something like this happens. I'm starting to think that someone up there must really hate me. Sasaki. <laughs> it's no big deal, really. <laughs> I'd say you look a hell of a lot worse than me, huh? Um. Thanks for uh, letting me dream for a bit. Anyway, I probably ought to start packing this place up. Right. What do I do now? Kasuga, you there? It's Adachi. I'm here too. Adachi san? Namba? Hey, sorry to barge in. You got a minute? Yeah. Time's about all I got these days. Sorry, I hope you guys are fine with just water. No, water's never a bad thing. Much obliged. So, what's up? It's just that... Well, something's been on my mind. Have you, by any chance, gone past Hello Work recently? Yeah, uh, nearby, at least. I thought maybe there might still be some guys looking for me. Oh, any luck? Anybody end up swinging by? I got a couple guys the first few days, but no more than that. Guess word's gotten around that they can't count on me anymore. I see. Well, it turns out there might be more to it than that. What do you mean? Well, lately our old friend the Seiryu clan's been acting mighty suspicious. The Seiryu clan? I think back a bit. You remember how Captain Takabe became the chairman after Hoshino died? Yeah, that made sense, given how the clan's set up. And did you know that Takabe went to prison? No, that's news to me. Right, so here's where things get interesting. Rumor has it, the Yakuza left behind by both the Tojo and the Omi have started gathering under the Seiryu banner. And we're not just talking 10 or 20 guys here. Huh? You mean... I mean, the Seiryu clan's been boosting their numbers in a big way, and neither Hoshino nor Takabe would have okayed that. However, with Chairman Hoshino dead, and Takabe in the slammer... Exactly. Somebody in the Seiryu clan must be plotting something while their boss is out of commission. So all those guys who are trying to go straight, they're going back in under the Seiryu clan? Nah, that's not all. Frankly gets even worse. Huh? Apparently, Sasaki's one of them. He's joined the Seiryu clan, too. Sasaki? Losing his job really took its toll, I guess. We can't rule out the possibility that he gave up. Living as a civilian might have been too tough. Ugh. So he went and joined the Seiryu clan? Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, I heard it from one of my buddies at the homeless camp. Look, I'm pretty sure I've got no right saying this. In fact, I know I don't. But I can't stand by and watch Sasaki get dragged back into the Yakuza. After all, he made a decision to earn his life back. I saw him do it with my own eyes. I want to help him, however I can. <laughs> well, I figured you would, and I'm glad. <laughs> <sighs> You're heading to Seriu Clan HQ, right? Count us in. <laughs> but guys... Oh, but nothing. We're with you on this. 
Besides, there's no guarantee they'll be willing to hash things out. After everything, you really think we'd leave you to the dogs? Mm-hmm. Uh, Dachi-san. Namba. You're stuck with us. <laughs> and just like that, the party's back together. Let's say we set off on another adventure. Yeah, Mr. Hero? Yeah. <laughs> well, any hero worth his salt needs a weapon to match. So, where'd you stash it? Sash what? Like you forgot. Your hero's bad. Don't tell me you tossed it out. Oh, yeah! It's, uh, well, uh... Seriously? Uh, <sighs> what the hell is that? Well, I, I needed to hang stuff, so... Uh, then buy a rack or something, man! That thing deserves better! Sure does. Uh, and after my little speech... Honestly, it's a hero's bat, right? Time to go to work. Right. All right, let's roll out. Actually, can we hold on a sec? What for? <laughs> if I'm going on an adventure, then I'll need to look the part. Suit back was a good call. I know, right? Gotta say, it's funny. The three of us kicking things off again. <laughs> what did you expect? We're in it for the long haul. If I'm being honest, I think part of me's been waiting for this day for a long time. <laughs> All right, it's hero time. Nanba, Adachi san. We made names for ourselves as the heroes of Yokohama once before. Let's remind this town just what we're all about, yeah? Hell yeah! Right behind you. Yeah! I gotta say, that bat really takes me back. It was right around here you plucked that thing out of the ground, yeah? Yeah, me and Adachi-san couldn't get it to budge. Remember how you said only the chosen hero could pull it out? Oh yeah, you were calling it a holy sword or whatever. I knew you had a childhood fantasy thing going on, but at that point I wondered, is this guy okay in the head? <laughs> and I haven't changed one bit. Ha! I will be the savior of this world! Check it out, he's doing it. Get her done, hero. Always here to save the day. <laughs> hey, you old farts done LARPing around? Then how about you give us some spending money? Yeah, you won't get much from us. We're dead broke. You telling me the three of you don't have a single yen on you? I think you're feeding me some bullshit! Now fork over some cash! Not every random guy you see is loaded, you know. Hey, hero. I think I see a slime approaching. Ready to put that holy sword to work? <laughs> I was just thinking it's been too long. Namba, Adachi-san, you ready? Yeah! Straight in and he's in. The battle is on! Huh? Whoa! Did these guys just transform? Huh? Transform into what? Didn't he say something like that back in the day? How? Once he became a hero, the bad guys would change during battle. Oh, oh yeah. Well, when it comes to fighting, you do you. Don't get delusional on us. Wait, so am I the only one? Oh well, more fun for me, I guess. Okay. Don't get caught. Don't Why, get caught. Watch this. That's it. Cool. Take 
I'm up! Yeah! Yeah! Brace yourself! That's hard to do. The way to be trapped! <laughs> What's that? Yo. Uh oh. Okay. Hmm? Excuse me. No. Uh oh. Never thought I'd see the day when we'd all join forces again. The party's back and better than ever. Well, better than ever might be a bit much for a bunch of jobless dudes over 40. Ah, who's keeping score? I say you're the best pals a guy could have. And so what if we're out of work? We're heroes in our hearts. Let's hold our heads high! You know, despite you having absolutely zero basis for saying that, I respect your optimism. Aw, oh, man, you flatter me. That wasn't exactly a compliment. <laughs> I swear, it's never a dull moment with you two around. Anyhow, let's put our backs into it, eh, comrades? Hell yeah! いらっしゃいませ。
ありがとう Hey! Aren't you Risa Unai? Whoa, a real TV announcer in the flesh. She's even hotter up close. <laughs> uh, thank you, I'm honored. Well, goodbye. Wait, hold on. Can we like take a picture so I can show all my friends? Seriously, dude? Forget that! Hey, do you have a boyfriend? How about one of us? Who do you like better, me or him? I'm in a bit of a hurry, actually, so excuse me. What, you think you're some kind of celebrity? I wouldn't piss us off if I were you and I, son. So she's a TV announcer, huh? I better help her get away from those sleaze balls. Hey, fellas, can't you see she doesn't want your company? Huh? Who the hell are you? Well, how do you know she's not in this? Huh? Looks to me like she wants a piece of action, don't it? My dude, if you think she looks like she wants a piece of you, no wonder nobody's into you. You talking shit, old man? What's so wrong about getting to know a hot TV announcer? If you won't let us get close, we'll just have to take you out. Bring it on! Cool! Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Going in. Hey, I'm a cop. Yeah. Open one! I got it! No begging for mercy now. Have fun with this. Stop! I'm up! Let's get it done! <laughs> On to the next level. Nice. Look at me go. Hell yeah. Moving up in the world. What? What's with him? Want to keep going? No. No, please, no. no. I'm so sorry. Freaking scumbags. You all right there? I am, thank you. I really appreciate you saving me. So, TV announcer, huh? Yep. I'm Risa Unai from TBS. I'm Kasuga. Ichiban Kasuga. Nice to meet you. I guess you famous people got it tough, getting pestered by creeps like that. Oh, I wouldn't say that I'm famous, but... I do get harassed by people like them sometimes, yes. Well, this is one hot dumpster fire of a town, so just be careful around these parts, yeah? Anyway, you heading to work? Right you are. I'm on my way to a radio show, actually. Oh, yeah? Yes, indeed. Have you heard of TBS Radio? The first time I've heard of it, but I might have a radio cassette player lying around somewhere, so I could probably tune in. Then please give us a listen. You can also try tuning in with a phone app, too. Uh, what's the show about? Oh, all sorts of things. Food, music, you name it. Sometimes we even talk about things overseas. I join as a co-host every now and then. We end up talking about games pretty often when I'm there. Oh, you like games, too? I used to play them a lot when I was a kid. I <laughs> always wanted to be a hero. Oh, uh, a hero, you say? That sounds... Cool, I guess. Is this guy some kind of LARPer? I haven't been able to play any games recently, though. Well, maybe I ought to use the radio to study up on what's new. 
That'd be great. I could even talk about how you saved me on today's segment. Oh, no, it's cool. What I did's not worth mentioning on the radio. Well, take care, Unai-san. Stay safe, and good luck with your radio show. Will do. Thank you again, Kasuga-san. Radio shows, huh? Been a while since I've listened to one, but maybe I'll give it a shot with my radio cassette back home. She mentioned they also have a smartphone app or something, so maybe I'll download that, too. Guess so. Yes. Ah. 